I'm starting out showing this installed. You can see the tank pretty much completely consumes the interior of the saddlebag. Down here we've got, this is where the mounting bolt will go. There's a well nut uh, quarter inch bolt holding that in place. There's only one mount bolt in this because the tank is very well secured. It fits into the back very snugly. You can see as I try to wiggle this, there's no movement at all on the tank. So we'll start and show about uh, getting it out and how to get it back in. The fuel pump will need to be removed for removal and of course we'll take out that bolt at the bottom. I'm sure the hard part of removing this fuel pump will be getting the hose off of it, but I've made it, uh, there's a mount that is threaded and tapped so you don't have to, uh, don't have to mess with the bolt on the back side. So once the fuel pump is removed, and we take out this bolt that's retaining it down here, and it's simply a matter of sliding this forward a little bit and, and maneuvering it to get it out. Because it's snug, it's got to be twisted just right to get things passed and then it comes right out. Don't even have to uh, take this retaining cord off. Installation is the installation is the reverse of that, and the one thing I've noticed is that it's pretty easy to get the rear of this misaligned, and you want to make sure that it uh, this is the tricky part here. We get that in. You want to make sure that I raise this up and push it to the rear and it, it kind of gets when you have it in the right position you can tell that uh, everything will line back up where it was reinstall the fuel pump hook the lines back up Put your retaining bolt back in down here. Uh, close it up, and I think uh, I think you're ready to go. The fuel pickup is a tube that goes into the bottom of the tank. The cap is secured to the tank with a with a lanyard to keep you from uh, losing that. 